Middlesbrough, a small town in northern England which often gets forgotten about, as well as some of its heroes. Sure, we've got our world famous Chicken Panmo and our famous football team, the mighty Butter. We've also got one of the greatest explorers known to man, Captain James Cook, who found countries like Australia. One person you might not have heard of though, is a guy who in World War II, on D-Day, June 6, 1944, was the only guy in combat to get the Victoria Cross, the most prestigious medal in fighting the enemy. His name is Stanley Hollis. Stanley Hollis joined his local regiment of Middlesbrough, the Green Howards. He took part in campaigns in World War II, such as Sicily, where he got wounded, France, North Africa, and also took part in the evacuation of Dunkirk, where he got promoted from Lance Corporal to Sergeant. Aside from Stanley Hollis's many achievements through World War II, what really stood out was the events that took place on D-Day on Golden Beach. The company pushed too far ahead and Stanley Hollis noticed that there were two pillboxes which they had missed. On one of them, he jumped instantly and rushed forwards onto the pillbox, reloading his magazine with his Sten gun, spraying inside and throwing a grenade in the door, killing two Germans and also taking the rest as prisoners. He also noticed that two of his men were left behind once they went to engage an anti-tank weapon. He told his commanding officer, I brought them in and I will bring them back. He went over there and made some diversionary tactics, pulling his men back from being lost in combat, saving both their lives. Stanley Hollis was a Middlesbrough hero. Stanley Hollis was very modest about the heroic acts which he did during World War II, especially the acts during Golden Beach on D-Day. He'd be the first to tell you that he was very lucky compared to the many lives which were lost during World War II. Later on in life, he settled down with the love of his life and took part in many jobs around the Middlesbrough region. He passed away on the 8th of February 1972, age 59. You can see his war memorial at Albert Park and see his grave sown at Acklam Cemetery. And also you can see his medal, the Victoria Cross, at Richmond Museum. This documentary is just to highlight the tribute to Stanley Hollis and to also remember those that were lost and that we will remember them. My name is Dominic Taylor, thank you. <laughs>